the conscious kid. That's what it's called. Um, Inform me. <laughs> so the conscious kid takes books from like they're about like African American stories or like they're all children's books, mm-hmm. and they they're written by people of color. And yeah, they buy them all for children. And they put them into the public school systems in America so that I all of these that. children get to read these books and grow up with these books. And, you know, then that's that's a really good way to instill inherent, like, don't be racist <laughs> in a child. Totally. <laughs> like, show them, show them stories about how, I mean, how culture is really important, how – it affects other people's lives. I love it's, that. it's a great, great organization. And then, so are they like nonprofit? Like all the money they get, they they're just nonprofit. Put it in the books? Yeah, they put it all into the books. And it was on the Black Lives Matter um, page of all the places that they said you could also mm-hmm. donate to. What I were they called again? A charity, the Conscious Kid. I really wanted to find a charity to donate to for my happy adoption day that had to do with like children and also like, you know, giving people, I guess, better lives in, in a situation, in a sense, but not really. I just, I wanted a charity um, that related to the Black Lives Matter movement that was, you know, it meant something to me, something that was like, it related to me. I don't know. That's probably just selfishness, but also no. like, it made me feel like it makes me feel really better Welcome the next like donating gen- for yeah. donating to something that I believe in rather than like really specific rather than just donating to like the movement. And it's since because anytime I'm donating to something that is related to the movement, I'm donating to the movement, you know? Yeah. So we gave money to like- them specific. for my happy adoption day. And we've also like, I don't know. We love, that I always support the Asian American Girl Club. Like, it's it's a thing that this woman named Ali Maki created, and I love it. It's really cute, and they show all these like Asian American girls. So yeah, for my adoption day, that's what I did. <laughs> wait, wait, when was that? Uh, June fourteenth. It was okay. it was right around the. It was the same day as that big um protest in L.A. for Pride. Okay. So I, I don't know. I kept it in the wrap. So I was like, I'm not going to like post all about this. No, it's just, that's so nice. Like, that's so great. I love that. Do you do like, do you like donate every year to some um, like, sort of charity? Or I mean, my fam- like my family, we donate money like all the, like we donate every year to many different causes. Yeah. But I've never done something specific for my happy adoption day. Like I used to do things for my birthday. Like I'd be like, Oh, I used to donate to make a wish for my birthday and stuff like that. Um, but I like, I want to start that now every year on my happy adoption day to donate to things. And also it reminds me of like all these things that are going on right now. And it's like at that at that time that my happy adoption day was, was when all of this stuff was going on. So now it's going to remind me about it later in life. I love that. Yeah, that's definitely a trend you should do. That's like... I like that. Sorry. I don't want to make it too public. I guess the podcast. You don't want to be now. like, oh, time's rolling around. Yeah, time's exactly. Be, I, I just like, feel like that's so ingenuine. Yeah, you don't like advertising it. Like, I mean, it can be okay to advertise it. Like, it's like if you were like, hey, like this this charity, it My really is. My bio is like, please donate to these places. <laughs> <laughs> I should just link it to my Instagram. Mm-hmm. Currently, I have like charities linked, but I think I should just link that specific charity. Do it. Yeah, I, I love like that. it a lot. I really like it. <laughs> what else do we want to talk about? I feel like a really low hanging fruit is all the YouTube drama going on right now. But YouTube really drama- low hanging fruit, like the James Charles and the beauty people going on. Like I don't. Know. Isn't that over? I think it's still going on. Like it came back is what happened see the thing is i never watched those videos to begin with i didn't watch any of the videos i only watched the people that like um, summarize the videos so i didn't have to watch like 10 hours of well, I, didn't, I didn't watch i didn't watch the videos and i didn't watch like their content to begin with so i just like yeah, no. wasn't really interested like all the drama like it's like 
who needs why make drama when there, you don't need drama and like like just live your life yeah without hurting someone else mm-hmm. i agree i think yeah and they're, they're, like everyone's talking about cancel culture right now yeah 